is Hala Halwai from Al Wahda Private School. And in this book, I'm going to read the story Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. There was once a kind little girl who was loved by everyone. Her grandmother made her a beautiful red riding coat with a hood. The girl was so pleased with the coat that she wore it nearly all the time, and soon everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said, Little Red Riding Hood, your grandmother has been ill. Take her these cakes to cheer her up. Go quickly and don't talk to anyone on your way. Little Red Riding Hood set off at once, and, and as she was skipping along, she met a wolf. The wolf was so hungry that he was tempted to eat her up there and then, but he dared not because he could hear woodcutters nearby. So instead, he stopped her to ask her where she was going. Forgetting that her mother had told her, Little Red Riding Hood said, I am taking these cakes to my grandma, who's been ill. Oh dear, does she live near here? asked the wolf, pretending to be kind. Yes, in a pretty little house in the middle of the wood, answered Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf said goodbye to her, and as soon as she was out of sight, he ran as fast as he could towards Grandma's cottage. When the wolf arrived at Grandma's house, he knocked at the door. Tap, 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 tap. Who's there? called Grandma. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, answered the wolf, disguising his voice. I brought you some cakes from Mama. Come in, Little Red Riding Hood, called Grandma from her bed. I have left the door on the latch. The greedy wolf went in and gulped. Gobbled drank the Grandma in one big mouthful, without even once chewing her. He then put on her Pierre Bonnet jumped into the bed and pulled the bedclothes up to his chin. He had scarcely settled himself when there was another knock on the door. Tap, 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 tap. Who's there? Called out, he called out. Little Red Riding Hood thought that her grandma sounded a bit odd, but she decided her voice must be hoarse because she had been ill. So she answered, It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. I brought you some cakes from Mama. Softening his voice as much as he could, the wolf called out, Come in, Little Red Riding Hood, I have left the door on the latch. Little Red Riding Hood went in, but seeing how strange her grandmother looked, she said, Grandma, what huge ears do you have? All the better to hear you with, my dear. Grandma, what big eyes do you have? All the better to see you with, my dear. Grandma, what sharp teeth do you have? All the better to eat you with, my dear. And with these words, the wicked wolf fell upon poor little Red Riding Hood and ate her up in one big gulp. Having satisfied his hunger, the wolf fell asleep and was soon snoring loudly. In, in fact, he snored so loudly that a hunter passing the house decided to go in to see if something was wrong. When he saw the sleeping wolf, the hunter cried, uh-huh, I've been looking for you for a long time, you rascal. He quickly chopped off the wolf's head and out jumped Little Red Riding Hood, followed by her grandmother. So all ended well. The hunter had his wolf, grandma ate the cakes and felt a lot better, and, Red, and Little Red Riding Hood said she would never ever stop and talk to a strange wolf ever again. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed this story. Please like and subscribe.